if you love jollof rice this is the best recipe you can ever find on this youtube this recipe is so easy and very cheap to make and your jollof rice would come out very delicious and perfect now i'm going to measure about one and a half cup of rice raw rice this is long grain rice and we're going to wash it very well it is already parboiled so you don't have to parboil the rice this is parboiled rice so just wash it very well to remove the starch or just keep washing until the water runs clear and then you know that the rice is properly washed next i'm going to wash little amounts of tomatoes and bell peppers with some scotch bonnet onions and ginger this is the bell pepper tomatoes and ginger in here in this plate so i'm just going to wash it very well and then i'm going to just get it off the and start blending it after washing so this is me washing it now i want you to know that this jollof rice recipe is not the whole authentic jollof rice recipe but this is a very very cheap alternative for jollof rice and it comes out so perfect delicious smoky like the original party jollof that you know about so if you're in a situation whereby you are broke and you need money you don't have no money to cook the kind of jollof rice you want to cook i mean the one with where you use the beef chicken turkey goat meat for your jollof rice in a situation where you don't have all that you can use this my recipe and it will still come out very delicious and perfect so this is a spicy pepper it's called atarodo or scotch bonnet time for us to blend everything up so this is me blending onions ginger garlic tomatoes bell pepper everything blend together they are all going to release their flavors and we're going to love it that is what makes up the authentic jollof rice recipe now in a clean pot we're going to add vegetable oil as you can see this is a really low budget recipe this is all the vegetable oil i have in my kitchen and it's just perfect for this quantity of rice it's just one and a half cup anyways so i'm adding tomato paste i'm adding i'm using two tomato paste but some, this is what we give it that very rich um color orange look color is the tomato paste that gives your jollof rice that beautiful color that you see so we're going to fry this tomato paste until it is almost burnt that is the secret to having the perfect jollof rice every time fry the tomato paste until it is almost burnt then pour in the blended mix and fry again until it is almost burnt in fact almost burning you fry it this to get this this took me about five minutes to, for it to be perfectly fried to the way i want it you fry it until it's not having that kind of sour aroma or taste anymore so you see me frying it from time to time here we go you'll see how it's going to look once it's properly fried as you can see it's properly fried it's a little bit darker than before and this is exactly what i want so i'm going to move on to the next stage of the cooking by adding the blended mix but before then i just want to give it a very very good mix and fry it a little more as you can see it is properly fried now it's me adding the blended mix of the tomatoes peppers onions ginger garlic to the tomato paste that i have already fried our jello rice is already coming in shape can you see that beautiful color oh my god it looks so beautiful it smells amazing so this recipe is if you are using whatever you have but if you really 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 need the complete ingredients for jello fries i'm going to be uploading that on my channel so subscribe and stay tuned for my coming videos where i share all nigerian food recipes all african food recipes african soup recipes and all that so you can see i just added bay leaves to the mixture and i covered it for it to dry down i use a ventilated lid if i don't cover it it's going to splash all over the pot and the stove so i covered it and allowed the liquid to come down a little bit and you can see there's still a little amount of liquid in it but i'm still going to leave it on the stove let everything come down properly cooked before we continue with the cooking process so this is me adding a blend of thyme curry seasoning cube salt and i'm going to mix everything up this is all the ingredients i'll be using now if you have a um, stock at home like 
your meat stock or beef stock whatever stock you have you can as well use it to cook the rice but if you don't have don't worry use ordinary water so this is me still frying while still cooking the tomatoes everything is going to be perfectly cooked before we add the rice so i let it for about five to ten minutes for it to cook very well now it's time to add the rice but before then you know when you leave something on the stove for a long time you have to stir it very well so i just stirred it very well and i'm added the washed rice our jollof rice recipe is coming into shape so after adding the rice i rinsed it out and i'm just going to i'm just mixing the rice and the sauce together so as you can see it's coming in shape it looks so delicious amazing i love 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 jollof rice and Every time I make jollof rice, it comes out perfect. It's like I've mastered the art of cooking this jollof rice. So it comes out so perfect. If I want the smoky one, I have this trick I use to get the smoky jollof rice. And it works every time. Every single time it works so well. Jollof rice is a very popular food in Nigeria and Ghana, especially the whole of Africa. We love love jollof rice. Jollof rice is a very popular food, like I said before, and it is also a party food. People use it to entertain their visitors. Like if you have a guest, jollof rice is always on top of the list. Now you know the amount of water to add to your jollof rice it should be dependent on the liquid on this texture of your rice okay if your rice is like basmati rice that doesn't take time to cook you can use less water but if your rice is hard like mine you can add more water now i covered it and allowed the whole liquid to dry down it's time to give it a very good mix one thing i want you to know is once your rice is properly cooked it's no longer hard and the ingredients are combined it's time for you to mix it very well so you can combine everything if you notice a little bit of bones at the bottom of the pot that is what gives the rice that smoky aroma it lets your rice to get bones a little bit and get a smoky aroma so our jollof rice is ready and it can go with some salad coleslaw fried chicken fried turkey fried fish or even just a little bit of peppered meat and it goes so well even goat meat as well jollof rice goes with anything jollof rice and moi moi also is a good combination jollof rice and fried plantain popularly known as dodo so guys thank you so much for watching i'm serving my rice now about to enjoy it don't forget to like share leave a comment and as well subscribe to my channel check out my other videos i share a lot of food recipes on this channel which you definitely love see you on my next video bye